Yes, a tick on the screen. I have broke my number one rule, and that rule is. Hello, welcome back. Let me get some light going. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome back. Uh, bit of a strange one today, but we're back out camping, hopefully. So I'm still in America, and I'm not too sure if I'm able to camp where I am right now. Just pulled into a park. Um, it's a big country park. It's due to close at half seven. It's now 25 to eight. But my plan is just to head straight down there. So, because I am in America, I've got no nothing. I've literally just got a hammock. Uh, I bought a hoodie to use as a pillow. Um, so, of course, I've been back to Wawa's and got a milkshake. So, anyway, yeah, see you on the trail. I've done no research. Uh, the park I'm in isn't too far away from where I'm staying. However, there's a few trails on this map. <sighs> yeah. Let's just go for it. I'm not sure if you can hear the crickets or not. Well, I can hear the crickets. Hopefully they're quieting down. Anyway. What the hell was that? Jesus. Yeah, there's something in there. Oh my god, I'm already regretting this one. I'm not planning on going too far from the car park to be honest. But obviously I want to be out of sight. So yeah. Well, I've naively underestimated this one. Been walking for ages, and there's nowhere to set up a hammock. It's just too dense. Any, any, any more? No idea. Just one of many things that scares me in America. Well, about camping in America. Yes, it said a no shooting zone or a no hunting zone. But still, you American people have guns. And I'm going in the middle of the woods in a hammock. My God, it's scary around here. At least I'm trying to anyway. Anyway, so much for not going too far from the car. Genuinely, no idea where I am now. So, one thing I haven't said is even actually got a phone, so my phone doesn't work out here. Contract time on. I've got my phone, tell a lie. You know, it doesn't work, service doesn't work. Um, I have downloaded uh, a local map of the area on Google Maps so I can get myself around the park and back to the car. But, uh, yeah, anyway, which way shall I go? That way? Or that way? I've just come from that way. And there was nothing there, so... 20 minutes I've been walking for now. 20 minutes. I 
and I want to get set up before it gets dark because I've not got a torch oh, I need the one on my phone okay you probably can't see that I've just come from down there and this is looking a little bit more promising it's definitely a bit more open woodland uh, so that's definitely somewhere I can go well, there is deer in there there's going to be deer everywhere isn't there I guess as long as someone's not shooting well this hunting season anyway it's now 20th of August so when is hunting season in the US am I at risk or is hunting season over do they still have poachers do you have poachers out here oh my god ah. this is looking a bit more promising isn't it someone's been up here before here we go Oh man, do you have deer traps? Do people set traps for deers? I can hope not. Anyway, this is looking a lot more promising. Not gonna lie, I'm not sure if I'm gonna sleep tonight. However, we can only try, can't we? Can you hear that noise? Can hear dogs barking. Yes, it has got really dark really quickly. Just coating myself in this stuff. Yeah, mozzies, gnats, ticks, flies, chiggers, and fleas. There we go. Hopefully, I'll keep the buggers away from me tonight. And the bugger man. Right, I'm not going to lie, this is probably going to be a really quick video. Because, well one, I can't really see much. And you can see even less. And two, <laughs> I'm probably just going to get in my hammock and... Uh, yeah, I could clean myself up. But again, I've got nothing. No sleeping bag, no quilt, no nothing. No under quilt, nothing. So, the plan is, I've got a hoodie. I'm just going to use a hoodie as a pillow. I'm just getting in the hammock. I've got the wind tunnel the wind sock on the hammock so if you didn't see the hammock video from a couple of weeks ago got the one wind zippered hammock so it comes with a wind tunnel and or a um a zippered in mozzie net um purely be purely because i left it with the wind sock on so i've got the wind sock on today basically i'm not sure if that's a good thing or not back at base i thought it was a good thing but now I'm a bit unsure because I won't be able to see through it. So if we had the mozzie net on, at least I'd be able to see out. Whereas with the windsock, yeah. I mean, you'll see more in the morning. Let me set it up and I'll see what I can do in terms of recording. All right, I'm in. I may be being very dramatic about this, but I have broke my number one rule of being in a hammock. And that rule is, no shoes in the hammock. Yes, I've kept my shoes on. Purely because I need to get in the hammock. I, was, I felt the bugs. It's getting dark. I mean, it's only, it's only quarter past eight, but it's pitch black. It's pitch black in the woods. And it's pretty dark in the sky. The plan is now, I'm just gonna put a podcast on. I've got some stuff downloaded. I'm usually asleep by 11, so I've got I mean, I've got two and a half hours before I'm going to start drifting off. So anyway, if I don't see you till the morning, then uh, that means nothing's happened. So, with all due respect, I hope I don't see you till the morning. No night, guys. My goodness me, that's bright. Oh. See that? Ten past ten, been laying here for the last two hours. And I've lost my pillow. Well, at least I'm going to lose my pillow because it is so cold. I'm gonna to have to put my hoodie on. Wear it as a hoodie. Oh, it's so cold. Genuinely, it's cold. Uh, but yeah, I need a wee. 
<laughs> uh, oh, I need a way and I need some sleep. But in order for me to have a way, that means I've got to get my trainers out of the bag. Really, really, really not looking forward to getting out here. One, because it's cold, and two, because of what's out there. I mean, to be fair, if I ever needed a trail camera, it's now, because the noises out here are unreal. Anyway. So it's just turned midnight. I've been trying to get to sleep the last 40 minutes. It's just not happening, it is too cold. Oh my God. I'm tempted to head back to the car, but I mean, it's pitch black out there, so I can't even, I can't even take my camp down. I'm not sure if the gates will be closed, whether the car will be locked in or what, I don't know. I'm just gonna stick it out and eventually I'm sure I will drop off. Quarter two, still had no sleep. Still lay here absolutely for a reason. So I can't believe it. It's ten past two. I've just been for a wee and the zip has detached itself. The zip's detached itself. So the zip's going up. But the hammock is now. So I'm going to have to, even though it's freezing, that little bit of uh, enclosure does make it the ever slight half a degree warmer. So I'm going to have to get out and try and figure out how to do that zip. We're back, the zip's back in action. And this is what we're working with. Oh my God, it's still freezing. These woods are creepy. What am I doing? That's why I don't like shoes and hammock people. Oh, look at the state of my shoes. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh. It's done it again. No way, in fact. It's split there. It's actually split. What the heck? Yeah, there, look. See the zip? Oh my god. Zip, the zip is like. Jesus. Oh, no way. So there we go then. So the zip. Well, the zip's broke there. So, uh, well, it's now 20 past two. And I've got a gaping hole in my hammock. And, oh, just what I want. Yes, order to five. I am still froze. So, plan is I'm packing away and I'm heading back to the car. Reason I haven't done it before is because it's just it's just been it's pitch, pitch, it's pitch black. So I'm hoping there's enough natural light outside that I can pack away and head back to the car. Oh. That's my little update. Let's get that heated seat on. Right, oh my goodness mate. Uh, time is now, time is now. Ten past five, just go back to the car. 
Turn the heated seat on. Yeah, it's a tick on the screen. <laughs> right. Got to be careful here. So, there's a ticket on the windscreen. Basically, what it says is, please call or wait until 7 a.m. So basically someone's been here at 9 p.m. Seen the car still in the car park. Parking and leaving car after closing time at 8.30. Location of violation, and then it's got the name of this parking lot. Right, so, sounds like we are locked in. Although, I'll be honest, it'll give me a chance to have a little snooze, won't it? I think I'm gonna drive down and see. Right, let's go and look, have a look together. I assume it will be locked, but let's go and double check. Yeah. There it is, look. See that? The gate is definitely closed. And locked. Oh well, it just means luck back and I'll snooze in the car park. So obviously I'm stuck here now for the next hour and a half. I'm not too sure what the temperature was overnight, but that's what it currently is. At half past five in the morning. So I've had more sleep in the last time is it now? Seven well, three minutes to seven. I've had more sleep in the last two hours of being in the car than I have all night. Oh I am going to have a bagel for breakfast. And I've just realised I was gonna go and check if the gate's open, but Looks like the gate is open, the range is here. Let's go and double check. I did not hear him arriving. Yes we are. Yes we are. I've just realised I didn't actually end the video. Um, all I did after that was I went back, had a bagel, and I actually went back to bed for a couple of hours to be honest, because well, obviously I didn't get much sleep. So I'll drop a couple of pictures now, but you'll see, you'll remember that that zip was playing up, I think, I put in the video. Basically, the hammock's actually ripped. It's actually tore itself. Amazon said it's over four months old, but I said it was faulty, which it obviously is, because that was the first time it's ever been used. Um, so this is me ending the video, actually taking the hammock back. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you're still here, really appreciate it. Let me know where you're, watch where you're watching from. And uh, I'll see you next week. Cheers.